The USS Essex was a light frigate, also known as a subscription frigate, which was built using funds that were subscribed to by the residents of Salem, Massachusetts. She was launched on September the 30th, 1799, and took part in the Quasi War with France as well as the War of 1812 with Britain. Her original armament was 28 12-pound long guns and 18 6-pound long guns. This was how she was originally outfitted. Later, in 1809, the 6-pound guns were replaced by 32-pound carronades. So she had a mix of long guns and carronades. By the War of 1812, she was armed with nothing but carronades, which meant she could fire a tremendous broadside. Uh, the Constitution only had 24-pound guns, and yet the Essex here has 32-pound carronades. The problem with this was a ship with long guns could stand off well out of the range of a carronade and pound her to pieces. And this is eventually what would happen to her much later in her career. Nevertheless, she was a very, very successful uh, ship during the time that she sailed in for the United States Navy, making many cruises, uh, capturing many uh, merchant ships. She rounded the horn into the Pacific and raised all kinds of havoc with the British whaling fleet then in the Pacific, capturing, I believe it was 11 ships. She was finally cornered in Valparaiso, which is now part of Chile, and when she tried to break out, two British ships were able to capture her, and she was then taken into the British Navy, and from 1814 to 1837, she served the British as the HMS Essex, as opposed to the USS Essex. The model that you see of the Essex is what is known as an Admiralty model. This does not have all of the decking, so you can see the beams and the structure of the decking and as well as the armaments. There are no sails on it to distract from the ability to see the deck furniture, what's all on the deck, and the framing. These sort of admiralty models were used to show the powers that be, this is the ship we want to build. This is the ship that you are going to finance. Does it meet your requirements? Are you pleased with it? Do you like the location of various things on it? So rather than drawing blueprints, an admiralty model was built. You could look at it in three dimensions, and you didn't have to know how to read blueprints then to build the actual ship. You could look at the model and have a good idea of what went where. So admiralty models are quite prolific. You'll see them all through museums in Europe and the United States.